Well, my first impressions of, of these GP30s is very typical of how I have viewed and, and, and experienced with all my scale trains models. And I have like 20 or 30, I think more like 30 some scale trains locomotives. Excellent in all respects. The well, Linden W GP30s were unique, uh, high short hood. Uh, Southern also had high short hoods, but uh, the unique aspects of NW's locomotives were that they had dual cab control and the long hood was the lead, um, it had dynamic brakes. The, the high short hood and, and the dual cab controls uh, were basically aimed at uh, things where you had mine runs, where you had to go in back up the hollow, bunch of bunch of miles to pick up coal and you couldn't turn the locomotive and, and so you could come out either direction with the, the dual cab controls and uh, safety also um, when you ran long hood lead you had a better safety situation at grade crossings and so forth. The, these locomotives came with the NW 1962. Uh, there were 44 of them. Um, uh, they basically came at the time the NW did away with the electrification that the Virginian had between Mullins and Roanoke which had become a one-way railroad. And the, anyway, so that they filled a motive power gap. Uh, the, hump, the hump design, you know, where the dynamic brake blister is and everything was quite unique and, uh, and, and very interesting compared to other locomotives. But the, probably the better memories I have of these GP30s was when we lived in Ohio and, and uh, I was able to go to Brewster, Ohio and the former Wheeling Lake area districts of the, of the NNW and uh, saw quite a few GP30s there and uh, uh, just, just, I really, just nice locomotives, just a very unique look. Well, my first impressions of, of these GP30s is very typical of how I have viewed and, and, and experienced with all my scale trains models. And I have like 20 or 30, I think more like 30 some scale trains locomotives. Excellent in all respects. They, they run smoothly. The, the, the detail is very excellent on them. Uh, accurate. Uh, uh, just beautiful models all the way around. And uh, again, like I think I said earlier in part of this, this thing, uh, nobody does a locomotive in HO gauge any better than scale trains.